Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin. I wanted to show how to tie a really great intruder-ish style bait fish pattern. Um, one of my go-to flies for the Great Lakes. So starting out a 15 millimeter Waddington shank in the vise, and I'm using the Lager Tin uh, 74 Denier Ultra Strong uh, in a really light gray color. For my stinger, I'm using a intruder size four from Partridge. And then for the connection, I'm using 14 pound fire line that I'll double over. So I cut a piece of fire line that's a little bit long. I double it over, give myself the two loops. And then with this octopus style uh, intruder hook, you want to insert those two loops right up through the upturned eye. And so what this gives you then is a hook that's gonna ride hook point up. And by doubling over that fire line, it's 14 pound, it'll really give it a nice stiffness so it holds right into place and doesn't foul up. Go back down through the aisle and you run it back underneath. For the body, I'm gonna use the Lagerton. It's the French flat braid. Uh, it's carded. Uh, this isn't the super small stuff, this is the micro braid. This is the little bit larger. And then I'll run it back down towards the hook point and back up to the eye again. So this is an unweighted fly that I fish on an intermediate head uh, with a various length uh, mono leader. Uh, really no need for the weight on the fly itself with the intermediate head and a tip if you need to, it'll get it down, but it allows this fly to really play in the current. So for my first layer of the wing, I'm gonna use some chartreuse arctic fox. I really want a small clump because I'm just using it for just for the color. So once I have a little bit of that, and I want this to be nice and sparse, I'm gonna try to make it end right into the bend of the hook point there. Then for some flash, I'm gonna use this uh, Mirage Flashaboo. It's in the, uh, the pearl color, I think that's a 3067. It's a really fine uh, Flashaboo, and I'm only gonna look to use two to three strands of this. And to get this so it stays on, uh, I'm gonna try to make it into a, a V shape. Put it underneath your thread and bring it back around to the top. One thread wrap to hold it in there, and then you can easily pull this back and it stays on the side so it doesn't get caught up in your wing. And I'll leave that long for right now and I'll trim it whenever I go into uh, finishing the fly. So for my final top wing, I'm gonna use some gray Arctic Fox. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on this than I did with the, uh, the chartreuse. And I'm gonna look to pull out all the guard fur, so, or the guard hairs. So whenever I have a nice little clump like this, what I wanna do is I wanna hold it out where those guard hairs are here, and then I start to pull back. And I start to lose all those guard hairs. So as I'm lining this up here, I'm gonna see that I want this wing to be a little bit longer than what I did with the chartreuse, and I can see it's a little bit too full still. So I'll actually just go ahead and pull back out and make only the longer first fiber stick. So that's looking about right. I'm gonna put it just a little bit longer than the chartreuse. Give myself a nice head. Then I can go in and trim my flash now. So I like to keep that flash right along the same length as that top wing. So I'll trim that. There you go, a great bait fish pattern for swinging for Great Lakes Steelhead. Uh, really seeing a lot of success with this in Lake Erie. Uh, so if you like this video, please click like down below, subscribe to my channel, check out some of these other videos. Thanks for watching.